In this lesson, we'll be working with the Team Planner view. What is the Team Planner? Well, first, let's navigate there, and then you might have an idea. To get to the Team Planner view, from the Task tab, go to the View section and choose Team Planner. It happens to fall right underneath the task sheet where we are now, Team Planner. Then you'll see right away kind of what we're looking at here. You can see that in this grid here, which appears to be a linear calendar, what appears to be tasks, yep, they're tasks. If I mouse over them, I can see the information about the task. On the left, I can see that the column is called resource name, so this must be our resources located here. I'm guessing that this is a resource assigned to this task. For example, Department of Permits is assigned to the county permit process. Now we're getting an idea of the Team Planner view. So what will the Team Planner help us to do? The Team Planner view allows you to see the resources assigned to all of your tasks. If I scroll down here, you'll see more tasks are assigned to various resources. So what's the point? We have all these great views and project, but what's the point of the Team Planner view? Well, let's look at the various options within the Team Planner view, and that might help you get a good idea of how you could use the Team Planner view. Once we're in the Team Planner, we can go to the Team Planner Tools tab, the Format Options, and we have several options here, which will help you make this view customized for your needs. The first option here on the left is Roll Up. So what is that? Choose the level of detail at which tasks are shown in order to get a higher level picture of your project. So since this is showing all of your tasks, you can choose what level of sub and summary tasks are shown in this field to get a higher level. Currently, it's set to level 5. And we'll leave it at level 5 for now, but if you wanted a high level task list, you would choose level 1, and so on. As we move across and we look in the Styles section, you can see that there are a few options. Auto Scheduled, Manually Scheduled. This isn't to change your scheduling. What this will do is if you mouse over, you can see that this will change the colored bars for anything that's auto scheduled. And if you go to the Manually Scheduled, you'll see that this can change the colored bars for those which are manually scheduled. Actual work, which is work that's been completed, you can, of course, adjust the color of those. And then external tasks are tasks that are assigned to resources which are not in this project. So if you're working in a group setting and there are multiple projects going on and these resources assigned to multiple projects, you'll be able to see the tasks that are assigned to those resources that are not within your project. This would be good for you to know when you're trying to select resources for your project. And then lastly is any late tasks, so tasks that are should be completed by a status date but are not yet completed. It's good to highlight these. I recommend red so that you can see what's late and what's not right off the bat. The prevent over allocations options is option that allows you to adjust scheduling so that your resources don't become over allocated or in other words we're scheduling the resource for more than they can handle. So this will automatically move your tasks so your resources do not become overworked over over allocated as project 2016 explains of course you can choose what is shown in your team planner view you can choose unassigned tasks or unscheduled tasks and you can expand your resource rows if you wish you can hide that see excavation subcontractor here on the bottom left was expanded when i chose to expand it you can collapse it here using this arrow as well. You can also choose how much information is shown in the Team Planner view and if you have any tasks that are selected you can choose to adjust the color of that specific task rather than by any category. So this completes this lesson on the Team Planner view.